morning, that is our mommies and the entire church. I'm, I'm Alabito and me, Esther. And I'm here to praise God in Yoruba language. May you be blessed as we sing. God, yes, yo. Oba mi, oba lana. Oba mi, oba loni. Oba mi, ala guaraina. Oba mi, ala hotele oru. Oba mi, obenu ndi asala. Oba mi, obenu adele bosogo. Oba mi, obangba tibala ilara. Thank you. 
Hallelujah! Children shout Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. 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 Mm, I can see wonderful children here. Miracle children here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Legebo Shantari Bokuria. Just before I call Minister Miracle William, just before I call this man of God, I feel led to do something. Hello? Is there any woman in this house that you are crying out to God for your own children? That you, you want your children to be here? I, I, I'm inviting you to the altar. I'm boldly inviting you to the altar. I'm boldly inviting you to the altar. Right to the altar. Go in the midst of the children. Go in the midst of the children. Go in the midst of the children. And begin to embrace. The Gospel Church at Sukuru Abuja. They are you are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. Father, for the anything I reviewed this minute, for 
Lord, I shall manifest in thy life the blood of Jesus. Father, anything I reveal this minute, Father, there shall not just be the error, but the doer of your word. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Before I start with, I will not cease to greet the senior pastor who have given me this opportunity to stand there this minute. Senior pastor, sir, on the behalf of these children, wherever we are, whether in the school or the market or in church, we will never disappoint you, sir. you pastor julius my dad will never cease to talk good things about you i love you the senior pastor you are the children coordinator you are one in a million <laughs> brother pekula i'm a great mentor brother pekula Ahmad, who have given me this boldness last two years when he preached on children's day he put in he removed fearfulness and put in boldness into me he made me be like a pastor he made me be like i should stand there and i thank god i'm standing here this minute so i say thank you so with this our test will be taken from the book of matthew chapter 18 verse 1 to 14 must be that i show it for my excellent people unto them, unto him, and set him in the midst of them. And he said, verily I say unto you, except him, yeah, convert, yeah, be converted, and become a, as these little children, ye yeah, shall not enter into the, the, into the kingdom of heaven. For whosoever therefore shall humble himself like this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Five, and whoso shall receive one of such little ch child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it, is, it were better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Who unto the world because of offenses, for it must need for it must need be that offenses come, but who that, to that man by whom the offenses come it? Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life heart of, heart of men rather than having two hands and two feet to be cast into the everlasting fire. And if thy eye offend thee, plug it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter the kingdom of, to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast in, into hellfire. Take heed that he despise not of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye if a man have hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray? Don't he not leave the ninety-nine, and goeth into the mountain, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so, be that if be that he find it. Verily I say unto you, ye rejoice more than that sheep that than of the ninety-nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your father which is in heaven that this little one should should perish. With this, we will We'll be looking at the team who say Jesus values the souls of children. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah? If you look at verse 2 and 3 in this chapter, Jesus is using the life of children to tell us how pure our life will be when we are born again. When we are born again. Is Jesus this the way Jesus loved? Little children is the same way Jesus loved anybody that gives his or her life to Christ.
Christ. No wonder, no wonder Jesus was 12 years when he started his good works. We're going to be looking at another verse which says, Matthew chapter 9, verse 13 to 15, multimedia, please. Then when they brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed thence. Jesus loved children, whether yellow or black or white, because they are precious in his eye. Jesus loved children of the world. Jesus loved children of the world. Jesus says, suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For such is the kingdom of heaven. For the children, we should have Christ in us. We should have Christ in us. We, we should follow the Ten Commandments. We say we can be able to overcome temptation. When Jesus comes, there will be a great reward for you in heaven. In other ways, in other ways, if you are converted to a child, which means being born again, which means being, being in Christ, which means being in Christ, who saw the which means being in Christ, you can enter the kingdom of God. Whosoever is humble like this little one, whosoever is Christ-like, whosoever is born again, whosoever is walking in Christ, whosoever is walking in Christ, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus said, anyone that do not despise any one of these children, that in heaven, their angels always behold the face of my father in heaven. Jesus loved us as his children. Jesus said, but it's not the will of God that these little ones should perish. But they will not perish if only they walk by my name. Amen. We're going to be looking at another verse, Mark chapter 9, verse 35 to 37. Multimedia, please. And he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them, If any man desire to be fed, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arm, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receive it me. And whosoever shall receive me, receive not me. But he who sent me. From this verse I just revealed. From this verse I just revealed. Jesus loved children. In verse 36. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. Can somebody tell me the, why did Jesus did that? It's just because children are home. You know, Jesus, Jesus loved children. I want grown ones to be like children. This is another fact. Why did Jesus love children? It's just because they are humble. They are they always listen fastly. And, and, and they always forgive fast, fastly. And always forgive easily. Jesus does not want anything to move children away from him. Jesus said, whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receive it me. Jesus always wants children to be close to him because it makes him happy. Even though we come short of the glory of God, he is always waiting for us to ask for forgiveness of sins. Even though we fall into temptation, Jesus still loves us and always wants them back. Parents, with your help, your counsel, your children will not fall into temptation if you teach them about the word of God. And also, parents, Prayer is an indispensable weapon in taking charge of your in taking charge of your of your children's life. We're going to be looking at Exodus chapter two, verse two. And and the Exodus chapter two, verse two. And the woman conceived and bear a son. And when she saw him, that he was a godly child, she she hid him. She hid him three months. Parents, parents, you parents, you need to understand that every child have a destiny to fulfill. Every child have a destiny to fulfill. And as a parent, it is your responsibility to make sure that your children's destiny are not aborted. And remember, parents, Jesus values the souls of children. 
Though many parents seem almost unaware it, of it, a battle is ready today to win the allegiance of your children's lives. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Even the devil understands that children are the futures of tomorrow. That's why he always sneaks to destroy the lives of the children. God has mounted you as a parent to take charge of his representative to take charge of your children's life you need to consider this point one be available and sensitive to discover any abnormal traits and wrong notion in your children in your children two two ask questions when necessary three teach and instill life each joy in them four be an example wonderful this four parents This for parents, any you you should be an example to your children because anything your children see you doing, that's what they'll do. If they see you smoking or doing world, worldly things, they will follow you in that way. But if you teach them about the word of God, teach they will teach teach them about how God values their soul. They will be an example. You they will, they will follow that and you will be an example to that. Five, show them undivided love and attention. If you show them undivided love and attention, they will always come close to you. They will ask you questions. And you can sneak and tell them how Jesus values their souls. And how Jesus loves them. And how Jesus cares for them. Six, rebook and restrain them from harmful behavior and activities. Seven, establish them in God's words. Remember, parents, to always pray for them. Prayer is an indispensable weapon in taking charge of your children. Take God by his word. He will answer you and your children will turn well in the name of Jesus. I really don't have time, I know, but I will leave you with this fact. Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name receiveth me. And whosoever receive me, receive not me. But, but the mighty, the creator, the keeper, the lion of Judah, the kings of kings, the beginning and the end. The lion of Judah, the one who make it possible to possible. The one and only mother God, my Lord. Don't forget, children, motivate yourself. Be totally committed and mentally ready. Don't doubt. Don't give fear any place. Believe only because Jesus values your soul. To all Christians, as you come in contact with me, I pray the change in your life will transform your family, your community, and country for the best. God bless you. Can we close our eyes as we pray? Father, oh Lord, Father, as, as everyone listening to me here, Father, oh Lord, that bar whom I seated there, the sick seated there, oh Lord, today will be your last bus stop. Those who came with, with, those who came with questions shall go with answer. Those who come with, with problems shall go with solution. Father, oh Lord, as you, as you the, the bar whom I seated there, for listening to me as a child, this children's day, today people will rejoice with you. You will have more and more children, the blood of Jesus. The sick seated there, today you will be strong as how God wants you to be. be. For in Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do I need to preach anything? No, I don't need to preach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joy, 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 joy. Joy, 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 joy. Heaven is full of joy, 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 joy. Heaven is full of joy, 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 joy. Heaven is full of no more walk heaven is full no more housework heaven is full of joy 
joy, 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 joy. Love, 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 love. Strength, 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 strength. Peace, 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 peace. Hallelujah. Children, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for them. Amen. Please be seated. Children, I hope you can see my colors. Did they match? Did they match? No, because it's costume. I'm wearing costume. How many colors can you see on me today? Children, just tell me the colors. One. Sorry? What is this color? Have you ever seen me in this cap before? So it is for today. Hallelujah. Anybody that wants it after service can have it. Hallelujah. What is this color? What is this color? Any other color on me? What color? Red. Did you see red? Are you sure? After red, what else do you see? You see white. And then my gorgeous bag. You mean you see green? My bag is what? And then the chain is which color? Oh, you can see gold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be telling you about how you, as children, you can be a witness. Jesus loves you. Many years ago, when I was a child like you, they taught me one thing, that heaven is full of joy. I used to detest all this homework and things that we used to do. When I come back from school, after all the trouble, what do I want to do? Sleep. And then they would say, bring your homework. My daddy would say, bring homework, bring homework. We'll be doing homework. But they told me that there is a place called heaven. And that in that place, in that place, that there's no homework. There's no assignment. Nobody is going to flog you. Nobody is going to beat you. You are not going to be sick. And that in that place, on the road, it is all gold. You will walk on gold. When you want to do anything, everywhere is lined with gold. Ah, and I said, you know, this this. What color is this? You can call it yellow, but I use it for gold. There's something that we called wordless book. And you can tell your mates, parents, you can give to your children and teach them that when you lift up this, what you are saying is that you are telling them about heaven. How many people want to go to heaven? Are there people that want to go to hell here? Everyone that wants to go to heaven, say joy. Say peace. Those are the things that you find in heaven. No headache in heaven. No asthma in heaven. No cancer in heaven. What you find in heaven is love, joy, peace, strength, power, and all the days of your life that you will be there with Jesus, what will you be doing? Singing and rejoicing. But there's a problem. There's no way everybody can go to that heaven. No. Why? Because this is the way their heart is. And if your heart is black like this, you cannot go to heaven. It's not possible for you to go to heaven if what you have is like this. And the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's Romans chapter 3, verse what? Children, verse what? Verse 23. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And because of that, that's why your heart is dark like this. And because of this, it is not possible to go to heaven. 
it's not possible to go to heaven. So we like heaven. We want to go to heaven, but it's not possible to go to heaven except, except something happens. And that is why I have read that you have all over the place. Why? It's representing the blood of Jesus. There was a time that something happened. An, in, an innocent man, he was killed because of you. He was killed because of me. And all that he's saying is that, look upon this cross. Look upon the blood, that by the blood that you will be saved. He said, God so loved the world. John chapter 3 verse 16, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever, whether a child, whether a child, whether an adult, whosoever, I have seen children that have used this to minister to adults, and those adults have given their lives to Christ, and they are still standing as ministers up to today. Who tells you that children will not go to hell? If the children are not taught the things that they need to know, they won't be like M Miracle William, and they won't be like Senior Pastor Reverend Baba Chidolo later in life. What we are saying is that sin can be washed away. Sin can be removed by the blood of Jesus. Jesus died so that sin can be removed. And he's telling me that Revelation 3.20, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door. I stand at the door of your heart. And I'm knocking. Back, bam. Back, bam. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. And he's saying, will you open the door? Children, will you open the door? Children, will you open the door? Will you allow Jesus to come in? Will you allow Jesus into your heart? If you will allow Jesus into your heart, he will come into your heart. And when he comes into your heart, what does it, what will he do? What will he do in your heart? What will your, what color will your heart become? Your, your, your heart becomes clean. It removes all your sins. Your sins are carried away. And then you become a child of God. You become a child of God. The Bible says unto us in, in John chapter 1 verse 12. Uh, it says unto us in John 1 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to be called the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. And Romans chapter 10 verse 10. He says with the heart. With your heart, children, with your heart, you believe unto righteousness. And with your mouth, you declare. Your mouth, can you open your mouth? Can you open your mouth and just declare, Jesus is Lord? Can you say that? Are there children in the house? I said, open your mouth and say, Jesus is my Savior. When this happens... When the blood of Jesus washes you, when you acknowledge your sin and you become, you become a child of God, you become a son of the kingdom, there are some things that cannot happen to you. Listen to me, children. There are some things that cannot happen to you because you have Jesus in your heart. And with Jesus in your heart, you are well. With Jesus in your heart, you are successful. With Jesus in your heart, you will not die. With Jesus in your heart, you will be above and you will not be beneath. You will not fail exams. You will not need any miracle center for mathematics. You will understand mathematics. Are you hearing me, children? Are you hearing me, children? Are you hearing me, children? The heart becomes clean. The heart becomes well. And then... Because you know where we are going. Where do we want to go? Heaven. If you are a child, stand up. If you are a child in this house, stand up right now. Because anything, anything that is living must be growing. When Minister William comes here next year, if he is still this size, there's a problem. Do you understand? Uh, minister, do you agree? You were not going to be like this. You will grow. So, that is why I have this, my green bag, that does not match my dress. But it's supposed to be saying something to us. Huh? Uh, it's supposed to be telling us that like 
the children, I didn't even know your color was green. I wouldn't have brought this one. You know, seeing you in your green, what you are saying is that you will grow. You will grow in grace. You will grow in understanding. You will grow and you will grow well. And as you are growing, you are going to grow and connect with heaven. And we are going to practicalize that now. There are three things that you must do to grow and to be able to touch heaven. The first one, the first one, can you do one like this? Tell me the first one. Come on now, the first one. The first one is that you must learn to pray. You must learn to pray. Number two, the second one. As I said, the second one, children. Are you annoyed with me? Say the second one. The second one is that you, yourself, you must be a witness. You must be going out and telling people in your class, in your, in your school, whatever it is that you are doing. I don't know if the church has a wordless book, but I'm willing to get a wordless book for as many children as would want it. You put it into your pocket. And when you have your um, break time, when you are talking to your friends, instead of talking, 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 you are going to be telling them about Jesus. You tell them about heaven. You tell them about sin. And you tell them what they need to do. And then you need to read your Bible. So I'm going to turn it into a song. And you are going to watch me as we are singing that song. Hmm? I'm sure you know the song. But you are going to grow very tall. As you are growing tall, 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 until your hands touch his heaven. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every... Do what I'm doing. Oh. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, I thought choir will help me. If you want to grow, oh, stretch very well. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children, as you are standing there, if there's any of you that you think that on this day you want Jesus to come into your heart, you want to be a child of God, you want today to mark a new beginning in your life. I want you to just come to the altar. I don't want everybody to come. I want people that want to give their life to Jesus. If you are such a person, start coming. Just start coming. I'm going to pray with you. It doesn't matter how many of you are in that category. If you have not given your life to Jesus, please come. Please come. Let's be clapping for them as they come. Please come, please come, come quickly. And if you are an adult in the church and you have not given your life to Jesus, don't deceive yourself. Don't say it's only children that they are talking about today. Come, come unto the master. Come unto the master. Come unto the king of kings and the lord of lords. Even if all the children come, I'm used to that. But in the midst of it, God is doing some definite work. He's speaking to some hearts, and these hearts are saying, Yes, Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord G. I want you to be serious. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my heart, Lord G. I need you to close your eyes. Into my heart. You are praying, so close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come in to my heart. Lord Jesus. 
Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you thank for you this Lord. words. Lord, I know many children that have given their lives to Christ like this many years ago. And it's like they were choking. It's like they are not serious. But Lord, I take them seriously. I take this one seriously. I take them seriously, God of our fathers, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I say, Jehovah God, do a perfect work in their lives. Because they have come, brethren, at least say amen. They have taken it upon themselves to come to the altar. Some of them, they know what they are doing. Some may not know. But Father, as many of them as are putting their hands on their chest, and they are asking, oh God, come into my heart. Father, come into their heart. Come into their heart. Come into their heart. And establish your, their, their, their tabernacle as your place of existence. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you, oh God. And Father, we use them as a contact point to as many women, as men, couples that are here, that are trusting you for fruits of the womb. Father, we have assurance that you said in this time and season, you are out to do mighty works. And so, Father, we connect them with these children. That, Lord, according to the time of life, when we will be here next year, our testimonies will be clear. That the Lord has done great things for them, whereof we are glad. Thank you, Father. We worship and adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please go back to your seats, children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, that's how children are different from you. Some of the children said, Mommy, we have a question. On Sunday in church, they want to ask me a question. I've said they should ask me later. Or go and ask Pastor Isirame. Hallelujah. What's happening today? I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you want, you want my bag? I'm not giving you my bag. It's only my cap. 